I am so sick of weak gamers. The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. But you know what's not weak? Gaming news! Oh, I freaking love gaming news. It's been a long time. I haven't made one of these all year. So there is a lot of stuff I want to talk about today. Like, we got the Animal Crossing Direct, which I live streamed. And if you watched it, you already know how I feel about it. But I figured, hey, I would tell you in a video. Did you know I found out today that Nintendo pulled down that original stream, that original Animal Crossing Direct, changed something and re-uploaded it. Yeah, just hoping we wouldn't notice. As well as that, we have two new versions of the Switch launching. Pokemon Home is probably a thing. I still have Stadia collecting dust somewhere in this house. I couldn't find it. I never talked about the Byleth in Smash controversy. Oh, another Fire Emblem character. And then finally, there hasn't been a Nintendo Direct in like six months since September. And I'm not talking about well, a Luigi's Mansion Direct or an Animal Crossing Direct. I'm talking about a legitimate Direct telling us what's happening with the Switch in 2020. Because we don't know. <laughs> with so much to talk about and my excitement levels through the freaking roof, I don't have a weak mindset ninja. I am I have the strongest mindset possible right now. So with that, I'm just gonna start the video. Let's start with the Animal Crossing Direct. Again, I wasn't gonna talk about it, but there's just been way too many people asking. Again, I streamed the whole thing. I always stream the Directs. Just, just hit the bell and be notified. I almost fell asleep during it, but that's not the Direct's fault inherently. While it was a very relaxing and calming Direct that was putting me to sleep, I pulled an all-nighter to stay up and actually watch the thing because Nintendo keeps doing their Directs at like 6 a.m. in the morning and who is awake at that time? I'm sure not. To be fair though, I did say in the Direct at the start of it, I'm already sold on Animal Crossing and I know what Animal Crossing was, so I didn't expect there to be any big announcements, any surprises, anything to wow the pants off me. But there was one thing that stood out to me in that direct that that did wake me up and shook me out of my coma they announced that um it wasn't gonna use cloud saves Ooh. this nintendo online service like what are we paying for it again like a few nes and snes like will someone remind me why i'm paying this money one of the key features was to have access to cloud saves so that if something happened to my switch or your switch our saves would be uploaded to the cloud we could buy a new switch and download them and a game like animal crossing is the kind of game where you do not want to look like because it's almost i I would be done. See you later. And apparently, Animal Crossing won't utilize this cloud save feature that we have, that we pay for, and there was no reason given. Rather, Nintendo said during the Direct, you get one. You get one time if you lose your save because your Switch is stolen or damaged or whatever, you can contact us and we'll get you your save back one time. That's so weird. I don't know what the reason is, but Nintendo apparently also don't know what the reason is or, or how they're going to rectify this because when they pulled down the Direct, they re-uploaded it, and that part was gone. Just It just said more information on this is coming. I don't know if that's because they don't know what's going on or because there was such a backlash about it, but it, it seems kind of disingenuous to just pull it down and re-upload it and say, well, actually, we don't know. <laughs> more information to come. We never said. That's really weird. Personally, I have never been in the situation where I've needed a cloud save. I've never had anything break, and I don't think my Switch is on the way out anytime soon. But it's nice to know that it's there, and when it's a feature that we already pay for, why isn't it there? At least tell us why. But the game is releasing very soon, it's within a month, and I am excited, and Kim is like 10 times more excited than me, and let me know if you're excited below. Uh, the Pokemon Home is a thing? All right, next. <laughs> Look, I I'll be honest, I don't care. I don't care about taking my Pokemon from one game and putting them in another game. That's just me. It's definitely a cool feature to have. You download it onto your Switch. You can take your Pokemon from Pokemon Go or Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and you can put them in a Sword and Shield, for example. And it is a really cool way of getting some of these Pokemon that weren't in Pokemon Sword and Shield into Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I downloaded the app, I did check it out, and they did give me a, a few free Pokemon. It was like, it was just sat there in the box already. And I, I put him into my Sword and Shield, and there he was, cool. The only thing I feel weird about is if you want access to a lot of the real good features, you gotta pay for them, like a subscription thing. 
Okay, I know it's been a little bit. A lot of this news I'm really late to, and I'm aware of that. When I make a gaming news, gaming no, whatever. When I make one of these kinds of videos, it's not because I want to make a really topical, in-your-face video with breaking hard-hitting news that you just, oh, hear it here first or don't hear it at all. I just like talking about the cool things that are happening. So I know I'm late to a lot of this. If you're here for breaking news, you are on the wrong channel. I can recommend a couple. My friends RGT85 and Spawn Wave do great work at staying topical. I have trouble getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> But yes, there is two new versions of the Switch. We have the Switch Lite getting a coral pink color, and we have the Animal Crossing main big uh, normal Switch, which I assume is the revised edition, but who really knows with Nintendo. Both of these I feel like are really good ideas. Oh, 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 the colors are fantastic. The design's really good. And then the coral pink one, I think that's a really good idea. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to gender stereotype at all. That's not, <laughs> that's not my position. Obviously anyone can own a blue Switch Lite as they please, but I do think having this pink color is a really good idea. If I had a little girl, a little tiny daughter, I would love to buy her Animal Crossing in this pink coral direct. That's a really cute, it's just a really cute little combination of things to go together. And I think it's a really good idea. Of course, a boy could have a pink Switch Lite. Of course he could. Who cares? I'm probably gonna buy it. And I'm a boy. <laughs> okay, this next one, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your help. At the same time, I'm not happy about needing your help. I'm not, I don't like, the, I don't like this mentality. But I guess I get it. I guess Atlas has come out and said that the idea of Persona 5 on Switch isn't completely dead. If we all yell and scream and make a big fuss about it, we get our knickers in a knot and we tweet at them with hashtag break free Persona, they might possibly consider putting it on Switch. I don't, something about this doesn't sit right with me. I don't like that there has been so much outcry for Persona on Switch. It is a missed opportunity. I mean, we have Joker in Smash. Like, how much more of a clue do you need, Atlas? And the reason why, Atlas, you're even telling us this, that you're even saying, oh, well, well, it's because you know there's an outcry, because you know people haven't shut up about it, so you're saying, well, you know, it could happen. No, just make it happen. Clearly, clearly, you know that people want it, otherwise you wouldn't be out here asking us to ask more about the thing we already said we want. So you're saying, well, just keep begging us, and eventually, you might, you might get it. I mean, who knows? But fine, whatever, you wanna, this is how bad I want Persona on Switch, by the way. Fine. I'm asking you guys, my audience, to join this monument, this movement, because I really want to play Persona on Switch, and I know a lot of you probably do too, and I'll tweet out, I haven't done it yet, but I'll tweet out with the dumb hashtag, and we'll try and get this thing to happen, because clearly, it's, it could, it could happen. So let's just make it happen, I guess. Oh, there's one more small thing I forgot, guys, I'm sorry. I, this is how late I am to talking about so many things. I'm gonna try and do more of these videos if you like them. I don't know if you like them. If only there was a way to tell me you like them. I never talked about Byleth being in Smash. I actually did make a whole little skit video, which I was gonna just upload to my channel, but it was only like a minute and a half long, and I felt like that would be weird, so I just put it on Twitter. It was essentially just a little sarcastic joke. It speaks for itself. Just go and watch it. But my actual feelings on Byleth being in Smash was cool. I mean, I didn't really care. The thing that I thought was weird is that they saved it until last. People paid for this five set of characters in advance. A lot of people already are burnt out on Fire Emblem characters. You had a lot of really great, cool, unique characters in the first five. Maybe take one of those and put them at the end. But it is what it is. They put Byleth out last. And again, for me, I actually liked it. I thought it was good idea thing. <laughs> the only Fire Emblem we have on Switch is Fire Emblem Three Houses. We have a billion Fire Emblem characters in Smash but none from the only Fire Emblem game that's on Switch. So I saw Byleth go into Smash as inevitable anyway, and I was kind of excited for it because I really liked Fire Emblem Three Houses. Not only that, Fire Emblem Three Houses is the best selling Fire Emblem game of all time. And this is something that I feel like y'all forget. Even with Hero, when he came to Smash, y'all forget. We're not the only people in the world that love Smash, believe it or not. USA, America, European countries, English-speaking countries, we all love Smash. 
I know that. But Smash is also loved, adored, and appreciated in Japan, the country where the game freaking comes from. And guess who loves Fire Emblem? Japan. <laughs> so getting characters like Hiro and Violet, it's huge for Japan and other countries. Maybe not so much here, maybe not huge, exciting for some, sure. Smash is universally loved. It's a game that no matter where you're from, you can pick up and play. You don't need to speak a language to understand how to fight with Pikachu. It's a game that we can all come together on from all around the world and fight with our favorite Nintendo and Atlas and... Square Enix characters now. So just remember, when you don't get your favorite character, someone else might have. And it turns out, Byleth is really fun to play with and has become my new main. <laughs> I actually really like him. He's got so much variety. His down B is epic. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Byleth. And I know I'm, again, I could be wrong, but it's just my opinion. Too many things. I tried to talk about too many things. Okay. The Nintendo Direct situation. Here's the deal here, guys. And I talked about this like six months ago, maybe something like that. And and people, ooh, people, ah, oh, people. Oh, people. I said like after the last Direct, I was like, guys, cool. It was great. It was fun. It was fresh. It was exciting. But we know nothing about 2020. And we're going to get to the point eventually when we still know nothing about 2020. And a lot of people use the argument or used Animal Crossing as, but oh, Animal Crossing. Okay, I get it. Animal Crossing. Cool. Fantastic. I'm excited. Kim's excited. You're excited. Your mom's excited. People are excited for Animal Crossing. Not everyone. I mean, I feel like Animal Crossing is pretty much got a decent split down the Nintendo audience where half of us adore it and love it. The other half of us just don't care. Like, I feel like there's not much of a middle ground here with Animal Crossing. It's just one of those games where you either love it or you don't. Let's say you're in the other half where you don't care. What do you have this year? Oh, wait. Xenoblade Chronicles, the remaster, which, don't get me wrong, I'm really excited for that. I'm excited to finally have a great Xenoblade game on Switch, but it is a remaster. It's not like it's a brand new IP. It's a game a lot of us have played before. Still, that is cool. We don't have a release date for that, though. We have the third Bravely game, which, again, we don't know when that's coming, and it's another JRPG-style game. And then we have No More Heroes 3, which we have no idea of a release date, and I would, I would guess, like, late in the year. And again, I would say that No More or Heroes 3 is one of them you're split down the middle. I love Pseudo 51 games and I will play everything he makes ever, but unless you've played the other two games or you just love Pseudo 51, playing a third game in this installment, a wacky game like this, it might not be for everyone. I would say that probably less people are excited for that than Animal Crossing. But that's everything I think, the big stuff that we actually know about from Nintendo. I'm not talking Persona 5 Scramble, a spin-off Persona game from Atlas. I'm not talking about whatever wacky game you can think about right now that you're excited for. I'm just talking about things that Nintendo have said they are doing this year. Things that Nintendo is working on. And I said, like six months ago, cool, but once Animal Crossing launches, what then? And that's still where we are now. And Animal Crossing is about to launch within the month. I really hope, Nintendo, that we get a direct here in the next couple weeks because we haven't had one in so long. You'd have to think it would be amazing. It would be an awesome, incredible direct filled with information. What's happening with Zelda? What's happening with Metroid since you scrapped it? What's happening with Bayonetta 3, which we haven't had any updates on since it I got a release trailer like four years ago. And on top of that, what else are you working on? Because Bayonetta technically isn't Nintendo. Metroid now isn't Nintendo. They handed it off to Hi Res Studios. No More Heroes 3 isn't Nintendo. Xenoblade is a remaster, so that's not being done by Nintendo. So right now, all that I know Nintendo is working on is a new Zelda. Because Animal Crossing is done. And that's it. <laughs> it's just a really weird situation to be in, I feel. When we know we're getting all these new generations of systems coming out and Nintendo has just been so quiet. It can mean one of two things, in my opinion. One, the, the good option. Nintendo has all this stuff they've kept quiet. They're really good at keeping secrets and they're gonna come out with the Direct pretty soon and just wow the pants off everyone and it's gonna be the coolest, craziest year or at least compete with the other years and it's gonna give people a reason to actually buy a Switch still or keep their Switch going into the next generation or there's nothing. Right now is not the time to be quiet, in my opinion. <laughs> and I'm really excited for this year because there has to be big things planned. 
We should have known about them already, but I'm, I'm willing to forgive that to be wowed in the best direct we've ever had. But remember kids, the phrase, it's just a game, is a weak mindset. Take every video game with the utmost seriousness. Which is why when I play Animal Crossing, I'm gonna be playing it super competitively. And I'm gonna visit every single island I can visit. Because every night I sleep, is an island I miss visiting. Don't have a weak mindset when it comes to Animal Crossing. All right, whatever. If you like these kind of videos, remember to hit like. If you want to watch more of whatever this channel has become, then you're gonna have to hit but flip. I'm exhausted because of all the gaming. Yeah, whatever. All right, bye.